Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about implementation of ChatGPT integration with Pega. One of my colleagues, Chandrasekhar Kulpaka, wants to share his experience regarding this topic. Hello everybody, this is Chandra. I am going to show you the integration of Pega Messenger and ChatGPT. Before jumping into the details, let me show you a quick demo. This is Pega Messenger. You can see we can configure this from channels and interfaces. So in the right side, you can see preview console. If I just say hi. So it responded with how can I help you? Now you are going to interact with the chat GPT. Let me ask a question to chat GPT. Oh, I have entered a question to chat GPT for asking a program to write a Fibonacci series in Java. You can see the response. So it's clearly a Java method that generating a Fibonacci series. If we run it, it will give the Fibonacci series to us. You can try different different questions like. Now if you see I have asked for quantum computing and it has provided me the answer with all the details in that like the overview of the quantum computing. So these are all the answers that from chat GPT directly. So I'm here asking the various types of questions like completely different frames and still answering all the questions. So these responses are coming from chat GPT directly that we already integrated with Pega. Now let's stop this conversation. And the conversation has stopped. So now uh, back to the concept. So in this, so using Pega in Messenger capabilities, we are able to chat with chat GPT directly from the Pega interface. Before jumping into the how do we do, just have a look what are the rules that were used in the integration. So the rules we used in this integration are connectors to integrate with chat GPT API in the database to call the connector service that we configure and a case type that contains a conversational flow which initiate the conversation and keeps interacting with the chat GPT for the questions we asked and a Pega Messenger configuration. So this is a Pega Messenger is a in new interface introduced in Pega. Earlier it was web chatbot, but now it's Pega Messenger now. How do we do? So you'll get a facility to use the API keys once you set up a payment configuration and using this sacred key, using this uh, authentication key, we connect to chat GPT API. So if we come back to Pega, so I have created a connectress integration already that uses the authorization key of that that I con that I created here. So you can create multiple secret keys here that you can use directly in the integration. If you click on view code, you'll get code behind this playground interface in multiple languages. For example, let's say click on this JSON and you say Python, Node.js, curl and JSON. And if you select curl, you'll get all the contract in curl and you can directly upload into uh, postman or any rest integration tools so for now i'm going with json so using this json i have uh, integrated into connectrest rule so this is a request i copied this request and pasted in my json request creation wizard so that i got a response using that response i have created request response attributes in pega if you see these are the details that we have so when we run the wizard it creates the request and response based on the details I have given. If you see these are the proper attributes that Pega created when I ran the result wizard and based on the response created all the attributes and properties here in the response post. So in the response post, the response values, the response answers comes and falls into the property called text under the choices page list. So this is a page list that which are automatically created based on the response the widget and we run the widget and the answers comes into the property called text here. Let's minimize this and go back to our work class. So uh, to use this rest integration, I have created a database called D underscore chat GPT API. So this is a database that triggers the integration and uh, requests the response. Say let's run this and test this. So if I ask a question and run the database 
and here we go. So as I said earlier, we get the response in choices list. In that, we'll get a response in the text, property called text under choices page list. So using this property, we are going to consume that and show that in the Mega Messenger, and then we're going to read all the responses that ChatGPT provides in the response. Here we configured the data page with uh, ChatGPT API endpoint so that it triggers all the requests and responses from the data page. Now we have channels and interfaces. In this, once we configure, we have an option to add a conversation flow. If you see here, the first uh, section that shows here is the conversation flows. Here you can add a conversation flow or you can create in this version. It gives an option to create and as well as use the existing one. So since I created a case type already. So here we can see I created a conversion flow here. So conversational flow is nothing but a simple flow flow rule that con contains the shapes that are uh, specific to this conversation. So that means when we ask a question, what are the things that it should do and and what responses it should give? So those sort of uh, shapes that we configure in this flow. So that is why it is called conversational flow. And once we configure this conversational flow, it creates a flow rule in the background and a class for that. If you see here uh, in the work class that I created, I have got a flow rule called chart with GPT. So this flow rule was created by channels and interfaces from here. And in the flow rule, I have configured a question shape here. If you see, he, this is called a question. To add that shape, you have to create a flow rule and then right click and then go to a separate tab called conversation. So where you can see three options, send a message, ask a question, call a conversation flow. So here I imported a ask a question and I configured in the flow. So let's get into the question shape or how it looks and what we can configure. So in this, you have a question type like open ended here, edit all options and see all the options available. So if you open the question shape, we have question type open-ended buttons quickly quick replies yes or no so open-ended means when you ask the question the chat chat board or a messenger expects an open answer open-ended answers like user can type and write anything he wants in the answer and buttons if you select buttons we can provide the user with options or buttons so that he can click or uh, i can preview some section and enter the details like well capturing forms you will usually use this and quick replies is like keywords that he can um, reply and we can suggest him with options in the bottom sr no is like a radio buttons so like sr no just uh, options we can ask questions in a format of survey so that he can quickly respond and we can avoid user errors or type of errors like that. and message text here, uh, this is the message text. So I created a property for a response to user where this I'm using it as a question. I'll store the question in this property and display it to the user. When the user answers to the questions, I'm storing that responses to the field called user response. I've created this property user response and whatever the answer that user gives or whatever the question that user asks, or whatever the vision, whatever the text that basically user enters that comes in falls under this property called user response. Here, these are the some fallback configurations when chatbot or a Pega messenger fail to read the question or understand, analyze the question. Uh, it shows this message called sorry, I didn't understand to answer try again. So it just gives you an option to re repeat the question. That's it. And once we get the question from user or once we receive a response from user, then we go to this shape, ask the question to chat GPT where I'm calling a data transform here. So in this data transform, I'm running a data page with the question that user asked. So based on this, I'm based on the user response, I'm going to call the chat GPT API. Only once we get the response, then 
we are going to call this. You can get a question like what if it is blank? What if it is getting error? If it is blank, but the default configuration of Pega Messenger is that it behaves like a chat bot or I mean it won't accept the blank responses if you enter space and hit enter right it just does nothing so we definitely get a not only user user response this property will have a value always and once we call to the chat GPT using data fish and pass this text pass this user response it answers that questions or answers to this response in the choices start text property and that we read to and then we display to response to user. So here once we get the answer, we'll go back to the first shape question and then we'll display the question in the interface in the chat. So uh, once we configure the conversation flow here, let's see how to trigger this conversational flow. There must be some keywords that will trigger the conversational flow. Because without uh, any configuration of keywords or some trigger words, it can't be triggered. Like there is no point that automatically it pops up in the first place. So if we go to this configuration symbol here. Here I configured it as high. So when you when user enters high, it initiates conversational flow. That's called chart GPT. So here you can add text analysis that to extract data from the text and ent entities etc let's reset this and i have configured a welcome text that says say hi to start a chart with chart gpt that i configured in the already available greeting command you see the welcome text here these are the system responses this welcome text is the default one that pops up when whenever for the chart with the pega messenger is initiated so where i modified to Say hi to start chat with chat GPT. Earlier it was welcome to Pega chat. Let's try playing with some questions. Thanks everyone for making this channel more successful. Please subscribe, share, like and comment on the videos and provide feedback.